Hey guys, welcome back to Buddy RC. My name is Clay. Today we're gonna to be talking a lot more about the eye chargers. We're gonna kind of do dive into one of the special features that I love about this charger um, that really sets it apart from the others and kind of makes it not just a charger, but a nice tool to have in the hobby. Um, so as you can see, we have a few little uh, servos sitting here. We have two OMP servos, one helicopter cyclic servo for like an M4 and M4 Max. And then we have one of the like aileron servos off of a decathlon. And we're gonna test both of these and show you guys what we could do. And you're like, Clay, that is a charger, right? Well, yes, but also it can do servo testing. Um, so you can center your servos, you can check a route, you could get a nice number of like how fast a servo is um, and stuff like that. So we're gonna jump into that. So we're gonna go to the above view and uh, check it out. As you can see, we have our uh, regular screen right here. So normally you would hit this to tab between the two, but right now we're gonna press and hold. And then this secret menu is gonna come up. So the way you get around it, of course, is you scroll. So we're gonna to go to where it says servo test. And now the first one we're gonna test is just a regular servo. So we're just gonna say analog servo. And we're gonna to go to linear test. Now this thing is sweet. Actually exit it before. We're gonna exit this before. So as you can see, we've got analog servo on here. Now we're gonna go down to where it says linear test. Now. What you wanna do with this is you wanna plug it into J1 on the side. As you can see, there is two servo ports. I plug it into the bottom one. Negative is the black, of course, so negative, and then your signal is on the opposite side, pointing towards the back of your, uh, the back of your charger. So now that we have that all hooked up, we're gonna go down to linear test. Now, this is really cool. If you are about to put some helicopters together or about to put a plane together or even a car together, you can actually use this to center your servo. So 1500 is actually going to be your perfect center on the servo. So you can take your horn off and use this to center it and then go ahead and do that. You can also test your throws with it. So you can see how far it'll go with just turning this back and forth. Now you can get really fine adjustments out of it. That's the really cool part is you could do it uh, 10 steps at a time. You can go further down than that. You could do it one step at a time. So you can go really, let me see here, go back up, you highlight that. There you go, now you can do little tiny steps on the whole thing. As you can see, that arm right there is gonna match your arm on your servo. So that's how you can center your servos, which is a really nice feature. So we're at 1500 now. That is a perfectly centered servo. I could take this and go straight to my helicopter or plane. Now. That is with an analog servo. We're gonna do it with a digital servo. Now there's some other cool features on the digital servo stuff. So we're gonna exit out of that, um, come back up here. Now I know that the servo for the actual uh, cyclic on an M4 is 333. That's what I type in my radio when I do it. So we're gonna go over to 333 at 1500. Um, and then we're gonna plug this one in. Again, I plug it into J1 always. There is two ports. Uh, J1 though will give you your, not only the servo centering, but it'll also let you do the speed test, which I'll show you here in just a second. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And same thing, I'm gonna center the servo and as you heard, it was not centered. So I don't have a horn on this of course, but yeah, I can test it here. I'm like, okay, that's that looks good. And you can exit that. Now we can go down to speed test. Uh, like I said, with the uh, digital servo here, we can at least test to see how fast it is. Plug it into the J1 down here, and you can go down to speed test. And uh, I'm not really sure what to put on to this, so I just normally put two milliseconds um, and test. That's just the sample rate, and it's gonna tell you if it'll pass or fail. So this servo, I'm gonna have to look at the menu or manual on this one. So this servo looks like it's gonna say 0.73 at 7.4, but I believe this is only gonna be on five volts out of this charger. So we should see somewhere a lot, not a lot more, but a little bit more than 0 0.07. So we'll go just to see what we can do. So we'll go one millisecond because that's the closest to 0 0.07. We'll hit it and it'll tell me if it'll pass or fail. So 0.13 is technically a pass is what I'm guessing. Um, so it's kind of neat, you could test that. 
uh, at least what the five volt range of these servos are. But again, so we're done with this. We'll exit out of this and you wanna go back and center your servo. Now it's perfectly centered and you just take it and then unplug it and then go put it in your helicopter. So I thought this was just a really neat little trick. Uh, this is a very short video, but I just thought that'd be something really cool to show everybody. Uh, because again, with building helicopters, centering the servos, sometimes going through flight controllers um, is a little hard. Um, so that way you can have a perfectly centered servo. You know you're putting your horn on and it's completely centered. You don't have to worry about putting the horn on and then as soon as you turn it on, it tries to kill itself because it's trying to you know, jam you know, your swash plate or jam your you know, aileron off to the wrong side basically. So this just makes it that one step closer to being flawless while putting it in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I really love the eye chargers. Um, they have insane amount of extra features besides just being a charger and discharger. Um, so we'll show you guys a few more uh, tips and tricks coming uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the eye chargers, definitely post them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one.